now she's the organising queen whose tap to tidy posts, creative snacks and indoor beaches have been a hit with her 4 million Instagram followers throughout lockdown. Well, now Stacey Solomon has documented her tips in a new book. It's called Tap to Tidy, ahead of its uh, release tomorrow. Stacey's joining us now. Hiya, Hi, how are Stacey. you doing? Hello! How lovely to see you. So this was a book really... So nice to see... You what? It's so nice to see your faces. Oh, it's nice to see oh, you too. Wish it's you nice to see you too. Um, so this book was written really because your Instagram follow followers, of which you have, I think, sort of over 4 million, um, urged you to do it. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's just a book full of hobbies, I suppose. <laughs> um, just crafts and snacks that I love to make and bits that I love to organise. And, yeah, people, a few people had said, oh, you should put put it down in a book so I thought why not and and the opportunity came around and I just thought well might as well go for it you only live once and yeah I'm actually really proud of it um I, I put so much into it and worked really hard on it so I'm really proud of, of what it is good for you and have you always been tidy and organized because I think that when you've had your first son you kind of had to be I I think organised, yes. Tidy, no. I mean, even now I'm not tidy. That's why there is such a thing as tap to tidy, because there's always a massive mess to clean up. Um, but organised, yeah. When I had Zach, I was 18, and I didn't know what the hell I was doing, if I'm completely honest with you. And, you know, I, I used to get my gyro once a week and my milk vouchers and things like that. So I, I definitely really early on had to learn how to manage things and how to, to be organised so that I had childcare so I could get into nursery while I was at college or at work and I had to really be regimented about the things I was doing because there was no room for error and no room to sort of be um, a, a little bit like I'm, I'm, I'm quite ditzy and, and forgetful and there was no room for that when I had Zach. So the thing is that you often, you learn through adversity things that that was the way you, because you were back home then with your, um, with your mom and your sister and your brother and that, that was what life was like. And then suddenly, you know, here you are, Stacey 2021, um, and, uh, and an opportunity to pass all this knowledge on. But you say that it's also like a meditation. Oh, yeah, I think anything that you can sit and focus on is like a meditation. So Joe exercises, he'll go running, and that's his form of meditation or fishing, which I think is so boring, but he blooming loves it. So he goes fishing for hours and hours, um, whereas I would rather make something or, you know, organise the cupboard or make the kids a snack, a ridiculous snack a, a, into a character or something, just so that I can focus my mind on that one task for a period of time and I can forget about everything else to see my head so yeah i think anything that you enjoy doing that you can really focus on is is like a form of meditation i suppose can we discuss your uh pink wonderland room so a <laughs> i just need to see a picture of it because it looks incredible however what's quite clever about this is that you've created a space that's yours this is this is the laundry room which normally you'd hate going into because doing the laundry is not the most fun of things to do however you now like going in there it looks incredible by the way Holly, I love it so much. It was all grey and really dreary. And you know what it's like when you've got three kids, a dog or whatever, how much washing you have and how constantly you are just in, in your washing machine, basically. My face was always looking at my washing machine and I thought, I've got to make this more fun because I'm not enjoying my time in here. So I like... I vinyled the whole thing and turned it pink and then I put flowers all on the wall and I sprayed different bottles to make them pink and I, and I think the joy of it really was doing it all myself and I really just felt proud of the whole room afterwards because I did it for a really on a really small budget and it was just for fun and it's the only room in my house that is pink obviously because I've got all boys and, and Joe so it's the only one space that I've got that's like my girly room. All yours. <laughs> I um, I. Love the fact that people, I mean, when people make mistakes online when they're buying stuff is, is often quite funny. I'm, I tend to buy things and they're much smaller than I think they're going to be. Yeah. You know, you buy a watering can and it's this <laughs> yeah, big or a heater health. and it's that big. Um, but you've gone in completely the different direction with, when it comes to ordering sand. <laughs> Phil, honestly, I, I mean, I'm no sand connoisseur, so I just assumed, you know, that... I didn't want a five pound bag of sand, like a really small one. I wanted a big one enough to fill his big sand pit and his tub tray. So I thought, you know, 50 quid, I should get like a, a, a big old sack and I could change it a couple of times if, if it gets mucky or dirty and it will last me the whole whole year. 
So anyway, lo and behold, three days later, all we could hear was beep, beep, beep. And it was a giant <laughs> lorry reversing onto our drive with a ton of sand. <laughs> oh my God. So what did you do with it? <laughs> Uh, we we kept some of it, like the the amount that we needed, but the rest, the sand company was so lovely. They said it happens all the time, so I didn't feel so bad. <laughs> and so they collected it and actually delivered it to an, a local nursery who who said that they needed some sand. So um, yeah, it worked out really well in the end. But for for a day, I had an entire ton of sand on my dryer, and half of it was in the bathroom because the kids wanted to build a beach. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what that's the brilliant thing because you think oh god what am i going to do with this you see the world with oh glass half empty your world is always glass half full because you made a beach in the bathroom oh the reality is feel is i'm constantly arguing with my kids you know what? it's like homeschooling at the moment so all i ever say is no stop that do this help with that and when the sand got delivered i kind of held my hands up and was like Take it, take it to the bathroom and have fun with it. I can't be bothered to argue anymore. And I just let them go with it. I mean, yes, I still feel sand now sometimes in between my toes. Are they tidy, they are your boys? Are they, are they tidy boys? Do they help around the house? Do you know what? If I ask them a thousand times, they will eventually. <laughs> Leighton, my middle, is really organised. He's up at the crack of dawn, gets himself dressed, gets in the shower. Zach... God love him. My eldest would, you know, fester in his own field for months if he could. He's a real teenager. Yeah, has no no intention of being tired and organised at Joe? all. Joe? Joe is one of two. He's either really super clean, super organised, amazing Mary Poppins Joe, or he's this whole opposite. But he is good, isn't you, Joe? Oh, is he there? Oh, 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 no. Hello, guys, you're right. Yeah, well, good right. to hear your voice. Is he filming you? Are you cameraman today, Joe? No, he's literally, basically, the baby fell asleep right next to me. So he's on baby watch duty. And then just in case we need to move anywhere, he's on standby. Oh, bless <laughs> him. It's so lovely talking to you. It always is. Um, uh, thank you very oh, much indeed. Tap to Tidy um, is out oh. tomorrow. Thanks, Stacey. Take care. Bye, Bye Joe. Bye, darling. <laughs> See ya. Bye-bye. <laughs>